Hello and welcome back to The Shed. Today's episode is from some old footage that I thought I had lost when I was first starting YouTube. It's uh, on restoring this Stanley Sweetheart number 5 level. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to be restoring the Stanley Sweetheart number 5 level. The, with the pattern date dating back to 1908. So to start with this one, I'm going to take these brass plates off, give it a bit of a clean up, take the brass ends off, and see what we're working with. So when undoing these screws, it's important to remember that these are quite old, they could be brass screws. In this case, I can see just here that they look like they're steel, uh, so I don't have to worry quite as much. But it's important that when you're using a screwdriver to actually get one that actually meets the thread perfectly and uh, so it doesn't chew it out. This is an adjustable level, so I'll just bring you right in on top of here and show you exactly what I'm, uh, what, what goes on in here to adjust it. Okay, so what you can see just here is this is our spirit level. It's glued on here, and it's attached to this base plate, which is screwed into the metal part of the the wooden part of the level. And then we've got these little screws here, and by loosening one and tightening the other, we tilt the entire level and can adjust it. Uh, by doing so. So that's actually a really good feature and we also have a screw with a little washer on the top of this level here so we can actually take that out and replace it if need be. And that was just covered by a little brass plate. First of all I'm going to remove these brass caps on the side and so we can clean them up. And it's also important when you take these sides off, make sure that you know which side's which so you can put it back to where it was. Because it will it may have been specifically designed to fit perfectly to one side and not the other. So what we can see here on the ends, the whole level's laminated. You can see on the top there the two different colours. And on the bottom here, we have a little bit of separation here, there's a few little gaps. The glue's sort of given way in a few spots so that will probably have to be filled because I doubt we can pull that back together. We've got a little scratch here, a little uh, crack here which is superficial from what I can see. What we've got here in under the uh, the little adjustment plate is a spring on one side and just a little bushing on the other these screws on the bottom and I'm going to just extract this bottom plate. So this is the plate that it was attached to. Right, so I'm going to attempt to extract this with a pair of long nose pliers. I've got to be very careful because these vials are glass and I do not want to break them. Here we go. little bit of persuasion. You can see on the bottom here, the reason it was so difficult to pull out is it's splayed at the bottom to make sure it stays nice and firm. And then we've just got a screw and the glass file sits inside here. And on the bottom there, see that white stuff just packed in here? That's what they've used to actually hold the glass file inside the metal piece. I'm just going to pull off these other little brass plates here. I'm going to set the wooden part aside for the moment. I'm going to grab some fine sandpaper and also some 4 naught steel wool and a bit of uh, abrasive paste. Just lightly work it around, try and go with the grain of the, the metal, always best, and just try to go as lightly as possible. We don't want to remove any of this etching on this top plate. Just 
into a piece of wood. Don't want it to be too aggressive. Just, just want it to bring it back into flat. That's flat enough for me. It's a bit of Tormek paste, just on a piece of steel wool and rub this over the surface and this will help to polish off the brass and to remove any little bits of tarnishing that the abrasive paper didn't remove. And it's also the best thing for restoring in and around some of these etchings. So as you can see now, it's pretty super shiny. So now I've finished working on all of these brass parts here the end bits, the little half rounds that sit around the uh, bottom of the bubble. As you can see they've come up quite shiny. Now I'm working on the steel plate that sits under the, the top spirit level. <laughs> I've done there is just taking it off. Now I've got to move on and clean up the brass around these the glass bubble and this is going to be a very careful process. Start with some 240 and we'll see how this goes. Being very careful not to push too hard on that glass while I don't want to break it. So as it turns out it's actually not brass at all. Here you can see, it's cleaned up as best I could get it. I didn't want to force it too much, so most of the rust is now off it. And the vial is polished up. I'm going to have to do similar on this. Then I will get back to you and I'll show you how to clean the screws up. Now this is a pretty simple process. I take a strop. pair of pliers and I just strop the rust off the tops of the screws. Now I'm going to repeat this process on a bit on the uh, about 18 screws that are here. So now I've finished cleaning all the individual parts up, cleaning up the little spirit levels. I'm now moving on to the body and what I'm going to do first is attach uh, the brass caps from the end and proceed to just level the wood along with the brass and see if it's flat and square. So as I'm putting this in I'm just making sure that the little brass bit on the bottom here is actually pushed right up as far as it can go so it sits level with the bottom. Because otherwise there's a few issues down the road flattening so we just want it to be as closed up as possible. You might not be able to see this but there's a little bit of rock because the level sort of rounded in here. You can see we'll get some little overhangs where this front piece of wood is sort of worn down. So what I'm going to try and do is put a strip of sandpaper out and try sanding along it because it will take down both ends at the same time as the timber and we'll try and get it to sit flat. So what I've got here is a piece of sandpaper just stuck down to the bench. 
This is 120 grit and I'm going to proceed to rub the level back and forwards and actually try to bring any of these high spots out and just uh, bring it all a bit squarer so it sits a little bit easier. Proceeding quite nicely here, we've got sanding down to about here and about here, so we've just got this other third, so we've done about two thirds of it. So we can see now that this is sanded most of the way along, and if I put my straight edge up against it, I can still see a little bit, a little crack of light, but for the most part that is pretty level now. So we've got these little lines here, so as I'm sanding this, what I'm considering doing now is running some glue along in these areas, so as I sand it, it sort of fills all the gaps in. This will actually act as its own sort of putty. Most people will have seen this trick before. And it's quite effective, especially in restoring old pieces. So just wipe the excess glue off the surface. We don't want to gum the whole thing up. Dust is now set in this gap. It hasn't fully cleaned the surface, it's still a bit dirty, so what I'm going to do, lightly clamp it in my vise, use my card scraper, just to take a bit of this back. Make sure it's clamped nice and firm. To think it could have been back in 1908 that this owner, whoever MW was, owned this, bought it brand new, and now I've got it able to restore it and use it over a hundred years later. <laughs> So now I've got this in here, what I'm going to do is sit it on top of my other level, get my other level level, and then we'll sit this on the top and we will adjust it to the level below. So, that's level. 
we set this on top here. Now, so you can see this bubble just here. It's sitting off to this side. We want it to sit dead square between these two because the level below is doing exactly that. So we get the screw. Screw this side down. Release this side up a little bit. And there you can see that it's dead center now. Now that that's done, we can proceed to put the main top plate on again and screw it into place. holes are a little bit chewed out and you can't quite get them in. A little bit of matchstick is great just to jam in there and help hold the screw in. You just push straight in and lock in under the brass plate. And in your mouth. Little tap to make sure they're seated. We don't want to damage the uh, spirit level. So now this is done, we're ready for a bit of finish. So what I'm working with here is just raw linseed oil. I don't have any boiled linseed oil. Raw linseed oil will work. It just takes a little bit longer to dry. Um, you can wear gloves if you want. It is a combustible oil, so anything that's come in contact with it, your rags, anything, make sure you dispose of them safely. Let them dry out, don't kill them off in a bin because they can spontaneously combust. Rub this paste wax into the surface. So, there 
you have it folks, that's how you restore an old antique wooden level. And now it's ready to be used for another hundred years. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what you saw in this video and would like to support me and allow me to continue making these great videos for you, please consider liking and subscribing and checking out my Facebook and Instagram pages. I also encourage you, if you have any questions related to the content in any of my videos, please leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you.